but for the most part, I felt good. I only had a low yesterday. I wonder if those guys are going to get it today. I think it's just the combination of really hard day before and then just a ton of climbing. The Navad 1000, it's a pretty crazy thing. It's a bikepacking adventure, a bikepacking advent that crosses the whole country, Switzerland that in this particular event here, the 1,000 km is not the problem. You can do it, just takes a couple of days, for some guys a couple of days more, but the real, the big challenge is the climbing. It's uh, a bit over 30,000 vertical meters of climbing, and uh, if you're not fit, it's a pain. So that's, it's that simple. Lael! <laughs> Go! The current record is five days and five hours. Uh, so I think there are at least, I don't know, four or five of us trying to beat that record. You know, there's a lot of steep, steep riding both directions up and down on this course, and that's really tough. Uh, after a while, it's just, you can hardly get up it. You're not moving any faster than walking pace, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Dragon Leila coming. <laughs> hey, do you know how many competitors it's in front? Yeah, you know it? Aha. He don't know he's in front. What's that? He didn't know he's in front. He didn't know. He didn't know. The breakdown of climbing, I think, to beat the record is 20,000 feet per day for five days. I mean, that's almost going up Denali on a bike every single day for five days. You know. So. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. I don't feel tired. It looks good. Still pretty early in the race, though, but. It feels good to be over 400k in, you know. Once I get to Finsterbald, that's the halfway point. Oh, I should change. Okay. No way. <laughs> and I look over and this guy has this alp horn and he's just playing it in celebration. And he's just this really funny guy. He lives in Finsterwald. He's always cheering for people even when they're just on training rides. And then I hear later in the race that he was on his balcony playing the trumpet when other riders came in. <laughs> and Willie said one time, one guy was riding up and he pulls out his trumpet and starts playing. And then the guy's wife says, that guy doesn't have any bags on his bike. He's not in the race. <laughs> so he had to put his trumpet away. Yeah. 
fast link. It's all just go off like a rocket. Maybe he's trying to vent, vent with me. Just breaking off. <sighs> he told me that uh, he has a nickname for me and it's WMM. Wife of Mad Map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a nice guy really special feeling where you're like you have the road to yourself but there's no danger in it you you feel like it's warm out you're comfortable there's no traffic you have good lighting that night I could see the moon I could see the reflection off the lake and it was just like wow I'm out here and I'm actually feeling good this is really cool I'm not tired I don't want to go to bed and I'm covering distance and um, I, at that point too I knew that Stefan was sleeping somewhere and I was like I'm I'm kind of getting away from him and he's sleeping. But you know, the thing is sleep is always good too because you know you're, you're getting something really good for yourself. But to be like breaking away from someone while they're sleeping, it feels like almost like kind of a trick. <laughs> like they're sleeping and you're just moving. Oh, that's really pretty. We should just stay up all night all the time. And you get to see everything. <coughs> Seven and a half hours and three nights. Seven and a half hours and three nights. And, uh, the total amount of climbing. This is just insane. Until this time, everything is perfect. <laughs> but, but uh, this night it was really hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It, it's 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 hard to race. He's so funny. He does stuff like he's not carrying anything, so he just asks people for stuff all the time, like. Asked some old guy to lube his chain for him. Mm -hmm. He called out to a farmer and he was like, Hey, can I buy some milk? And the guy just put milk into his water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So funny. He's a character. What am I at? 790? You are at 796. 796. Wow. I mean, people were from all over the world were following this little race in Switzerland. I mean, there were only 40 people that entered the race. There were really only two of us that were up front, and uh, people were just going crazy about it because they wanted to see what we were going to do. I mean, I wasn't sleeping. I was riding hard. Stefan was doing the same. Uh, I think it was pretty mind-blowing for people to see this level of competition and the amount of deprivation. You know, it's like you're out there riding, you're not stopping, you're only eating whatever you find on the road, you're not stopping to eat, you're hardly sleeping, you're not showering, you're wearing the same clothes, and really anything could happen out there. And I think people were fascinated by kind of what we were attacking, which was pretty fun. I mean, God, that I hit this at this time of day, this weather, you know? Talk about lucky. Woo! Here, here. Since I'm already so kind of diminished that I think I would just snap. So I'm being really cautious on the descents because I don't want to fall. Because, you know, it's like when you're healthy, you can kind of take a hit, but I'm not. So I think I'm just being really cautious about not falling. And then all these, like, kind of out of shape dudes are kicking my ass up the hill. I'm like, oh, my God, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. This kid just burned past me on an e-bike last night. I was like, ooh. I'm at uh, 
what am I at? 900 dot, 910. We have a really, really cool finish. I think we have one of the coolest finish of all bikepacking events around this globe. We finish right at the statue of Freddie Mercury. He is very reliable. He stands there all the time. He waits for the last guy. He's greeting everybody. And it's an ongoing joke when you pass a guy in the, in the race, the guy that gets dropped says, hey, please tell Freddie I'm coming too, a little later. Sorry, I was late. No problem. Uh, I just think uh, some uh, farm shop on an app. <laughs> I bought the, uh, the cheese. Yeah. That's cool. Then, then uh, the record can be better. Yeah. But uh, I have busy. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Is there is is there some policeman? No. Okay. No. It's cool. Takhle, jako to Takhle vás do toho. Jsem tam. I am absolutely tired. Tired. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Good job. How how you, how you feel? Okay. I'm tired, but I'm climbing, and I'm just uh, gonna do my best to finish strong, mm -hmm. to get this done. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, and uh, just one important question: uh, yeah. one g one guy from Switzerland, uh, it's behind you. Be careful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think about 50k to go, and and then Stefan told me that uh, that Kristoff was coming behind me, and. Um, and so then I really kicked it into high gear. I was like, oh, no way, I'm not getting third. <laughs> I can't let that guy catch me. How are you? <coughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so happy to be finished. It's really hot, I'm gonna jump in the lake. Yeah, I tried really hard. <laughs> I tried as hard as I could. Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely overdid it. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you, I will. And we'll see. That was nice. Did you?